Oh shucks. I was supposed to go straight here. And turn around. <laughs> it's not working out for me this morning. Hey there. Bike blogger here. On my way to work. In the morning. Today we're gonna talk about IKEA furniture pain. So I helped, helped assemble an Ikea chest of drawers the other weekend. By the way, the weather's wonderful. The forecast says it's gonna be uh, pretty darn hot after today, though. Up into the 90s. Fahrenheit. I helped assemble a chest of drawers. It took us probably four hours. That wasn't really the painful part though. part is that I tried to do it all with a little screwdriver so I hurt my hand four hours of using a screwdriver where's you out where's your wrist out and your uh, and your hand Yeah, it wears me out, so. Otherwise, it went pretty straight forward. You know, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, no complaints, really. Didn't know if I was gonna be able to do that without getting off my bike. But I was, so that's awesome. So, this is about one of the biggest pieces of furniture they got. So if it only took us, there's two of us, four hours, maybe that's not so bad. Lots of screws. Um, it's really nice though. It's got a uh, six drawers. Um, we'll see how long it lasts. IKEA furniture looks nice, but I'm not sure, you know, I'm not sure if it's really something that's supposed to last for a long time. <clears throat> the instructions were pretty easy. Um, nothing was in. Swedish. Nothing was in English. There wasn't any text for the most part. It was just all diagrams. Very simple pictures. And uh, didn't really have any trouble for the most part. Okay, let's park right there. Why don't we park right there? Walking the bike path. So, 
Uh, there were, I think, like 60 something steps. Plus, there were about 10 steps uh, you had to do for each drawer. So, as I said, you know, it took, took a few hours to do it, but we did it, so it's cool. Only ran into one trouble with one drawer. It wasn't cut right, so I had to go back and get a replacement. I'm sort of going my usual route. Um, been looking at it a lot, trying to see if I can simplify it any, see if I can find a route that has less stop signs. Not an easy thing to do, you gotta do a lot of Google Street View looking, because I'm not sure if there's really a map anywhere online you can see what shows where all the stop signs are around a city. Probably. Probably because there's so many of them. It's a ridiculous amount of them, so. I've been able to figure out though a way, you know, to get to work with no stoplights and less than 10 stop signs, so. So this is just sort of a nice relaxing ride into work. I could, of course, just take the big road and be to work twice as fast, but this is more pleasant. Not as loud, not as much pollution. Right in my face. Um, so yeah, back to the IKEA furniture. Um, went by there on Memorial Day. It was open and it was pretty busy. It's the first week of June right now though. And summer is almost here. I know I keep saying it. Summer is truly almost here. So coming up in a moment, I'm gonna take a uh, slight uh, detour or a slight different way maybe here if, we, if it works out for me. Uh, on my way to work. Normally I make a right in a little bit here. I'm gonna keep going straight and then make a left and go through a little parking lot. That's one of the tricks as a bicyclist. Um, you can do it as a car too, but it's not usually as efficient. But you know, you find little cut through areas so you can avoid a light or something. Now there is a guy out there waiting for the light, so might actually go green. And is it going green? Doesn't look like it is. So we will make a left. Oh, the light just went green. <laughs> oh well. There we go, see? Hop out over here. And we still gotta stop and wait for traffic. But uh actually there's quite a bit, so, so that was a waste. Because the light had just gone green. Everyone got stopped. So traffic wasn't in my favor. That's okay. Because I'm a bike. Because I'm a bike. Take a 
right here. This is the way I usually it's the way I usually go. Didn't really want me to do this. I meant to make a left way back there. That's okay, we're gonna spin it around. Like I said, the uh the light went green, so sometimes it's just better to wait at the light. Didn't want to stop the I think this dead end, so this ain't working out. Alright. <laughs> this is totally not what I wanted to do. But it's what happened, so that's okay. Come up here several times. Anything else about the IKEA furniture? Eh, not really. Do you own any IKEA furniture? <clears throat> Did you uh truck? Do you have any experiences with IKEA furniture? Do you like it? Do you not like it? Like I said, I think we got one of the nicer types of IKEA furniture because uh, in a lot of ways with modern, quote unquote, modern furniture, a lot of it is sort of with some old timers, might call some pretty uh, low quality stuff, but I think we got one of the better models. Seems a little nicer. Alright, so what I meant to do way back there was make a left and then go this way. And then I just make a right so you don't need to stop for a light or anything. There goes a cyclist. There is a uh, yield sign here. And yeah, there's some cars that we need to yield. Wait for these two guys. up here. There goes that cyclist to the left. He just went into the Olive Garden or whatever that is over there. Let's go right here. I don't think you really need to stop there, but uh, there is a stop line so you could stop. Da, 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 da. Then we go around back here. Done this before. A lot of this is just really a, another version of my regular commute to work. Just trying to find the most quiet, relaxing um, ways to work doesn't have you stopping so often. Losing momentum. I could just, you know, run all the stop signs. I could. But I try to set a good, 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 good example and uh, come to an almost super duper, duper duper. Stop. Make a right here. We're gonna go down hill. Down hill. There we go. Down hill. Alright. By the way, I'm riding my single speed Wobby Lightning with that sub 15 wheel set. to make a left back tall avoid that stop sign it's got a 
Gotta watch out zooming around in the uh, parking lots. Let's just go too fast. Watching that truck from the left. There we go. Up the hill, guy. You can do it. You can do it. Keep going, pick up. Now I'll make a right. Ballet! Ballet! Stop sign by us. go straight here. That person has a couple dogs, but they're in a fenced yard, which is cool. Did a video about dogs. Go straight here, no stop. It's white. I think if you go straight up there, you actually go to Aldi. A little alleyway there. <clears throat> Not going to Aldi. Go over a car. We'll make a right. Straight ahead is the Maplewood, Missouri. Uh, rec center and city hall what's going on out here this is the way i was supposed to go real close construction area do not enter i gotta turn around maybe nope i go straight oh shucks i was supposed to go straight here and turn around <laughs> it's not working out for me this morning it's okay it's okay Okay. All right, so that's closed. They're building a new fire station, firehouse. Uh, that's not any stop sign back there. Uh, so that's just great. Make a right here. Yeah. No stop sign here. Yeah. So. That's gonna be going on for like a year or so. I won't be able to actually go that way. Jeez. So much construction going on around where I live. My regular favorite route to work has had a lot of construction been going on. I think it's got at least another year. So I gotta find alternate routes. Uh, This is the Maplewood, Richmond Heights, middle school and high school, junior and senior high. Da, 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 da. So, we'll have to cut through over here, which is a, another way I've gone before, not very often, but can do it. If we can get through here. Yeah. I don't remember that structure there. <laughs> I think that was the way it's supposed to go. Oh, oh it looks like I could have cut through back there. Oh my. We're gonna turn around. They did repave this road though. Oh, that's a new structure, so there's more construction. Can't go through that way, because they've been building, and they built a huge garage or something. It's the same size as the house. Make a left here. At least this is a big wide open area. It's not like using a driveway or something. I can easily get across here. Yeah. It's safe to do so. Oh well, maybe this is the way I'll have to go nowadays. Ugh. Well 
anyway, more in the description below this video about the IKEA furniture. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe.